hello welcome back so today we are going to be talking about the page layout or the page setup so where can we actually find the page layout or the page setup we're just going to go right straight to our layout now this is where we'll find the page setup so this is what we're talking about today now when we are talking about the page setup or the page layout it actually means your documents setting it up before working so we're going to see how we can actually set our page up before we start working all right so we're just going to start with the margins now talking about the margins the margins is from the edge of a document down to where your your text starts that is your margin so if i should just click on this margin you see different margins there we have the normal the moderate the narrow the wide mirrored office and the rest of that so this normal is a normal margin that is being used so at times so my think of using this so when we click on this for instance now this is where we can start typing from so let's say i'm having some text all right um, all right let's say i'm having this text now this is the edge of our document to where the text starts this is the narrow margin so if i should click on it and put it back to normal it reduces it so if i should go back if i should go to moderate this is how it looks like so this is the normal one we actually use it but if hereby you you want to make maybe your text is more bigger and it's occupying more space so you just want to make the margin smaller you can just use the narrow but this is always the normal one so we're just going to stick with the normal one all right so the next up we have the orientation now the orientation is the page setup if it's landscape or portrait so if i should click on this we're going to see it portrait or landscape so let's try turning this to the landscape the page so i'm just going to click on this and it is landscape now let me zoom out a little so you can see it now this is it this is for the landscape so now when i click on the portrait this is for the portrait so that is for the orientation now talking about the size the size we have different sizes here we have from the letter to the legal a3 a4 a5 and the rest of that so now all of these are different size just as the legal is bigger than the a4 and the a5 is half of the a4 and the a3 is twice of the a4 so all of these are different sizes so this our page setup now is actually a4 good click on this sorry size a4 so whereby we want to where well, we are going to be printing it using the legal size we're just going to go here and click on the legal so the legal is more bigger than that of the a4 all right so that's all for the sizes so you can get all of those sizes here maybe if you need more paper sizes just click here and you can add the size the height and the width of whatsoever you want to design so when you're done just click ok so we are not going to change the size just cancel that all right so now coming over to the columns now the columns is fact it is self-explanatory is when you just click on this you can you have the one column the two the three the left and the right columns so if i should use the two columns it's like this so let me copy this and add more text to this okay i'm just going to copy and paste it here all right so now this is it this is the for the two columns now if you watch it's here and this other side so if i should go back to the column and click on three it becomes three columns so it depends on what you're actually designing so maybe look even look at the newspaper the newspaper is having three columns like this so this is how you can actually set up maybe if you want to be typing on both sides in a page so we're just going to go back to the one column all right so now talking about the breaks now this breaks actually works with text it works with text so now how can we actually break our text now i'm just going to put my cursor here and when i go to the break find more options then i click on page now i want this 
from here for where I kept my cursor it actually broke to the next page so that is for the page break so it, if I should click here now go to the break now I want it to be on next page I just click on the next page and it comes right straight to another page so that is more for the page breaks All right okay so now talking about the line numbers the line numbers it actually gives the numbers of each line of your text here so I'll just click on the line numbers continuous so now this is for the line number so if I should keep typing and typing going down and down it will keep adding the numbers keep adding adding and, and increasing all of that so that is for the line numbers then the hyphenation now the hyphenation it works this way now I'm just going to remove the line numbers all right now the hyphenation let me zoom in a little all right so I'm just going to click on the hyphenation and okay it's already at automatic so when it's known if there should be a text or a word that is maybe longer maybe it starts from here from where my cursor is right now from here maybe it starts from here and it's longer now instead of the whole word coming down here there's going to be a hyphen there so I'm just going to go back to automatic now and let's look for something like that Mm, all right so let me just check for one or let me add some text here all right now looking at this example you see it's actually having a hyphen there now this is it this is the hyphen and this is where it continues so if I should click here to remove the hyphen the example actually comes down here so that is to say if we want a hyphen in our page or in our document we can just simply come here and click on automatic and it actually comes up there so that is all we'll be taking for the page setup so see you guys now next class stay safe